right, man. So Jared Goff and Jameson Williams struggling in camp, and you know uh, Jameson got pulled to the side by Ben Johnson um, about running his right routes and being where he need to be, and the punctuality of his route running. Um, and I told y'all this shit ain't gonna work. Um, I tried to be optimism. And I'm optimistic. You know they talking about Jameson Williams, but Jared Goff out there throwing picks. He looking terrible. He having issues with Jameer Gibbs. He having issues. But a lot of guys with the deep ball, and I told y'all guys, this ain't going to work with him and Jameson Williams. And not just because the majority on his part of things, it's just, you you know, you know, when them great receivers, they have a great connection. I think he lacking a little bit of maturity issues, but shit, when I was 21, 22, 23 years old, I was too. But he just don't, you can tell he just don't click with, with Jared Goff. And Goff just don't have the tools to give him the ball. Like I pointed out that Minnesota game. The game, the second game, we beat Minnesota, and they did the flea flicker, and he fucking underthrew him. He was wide open. Instead of leading him into the end zone or putting it right on him, he underthrew him. The touchdown in Green Bay, they got called back. He had to reach back to get the ball. So now we're going to say, well, you know, Jameson, you're not running precise rights, routes. Like, dude, this motherfucker can't get me the football. Excuse my language, but check out Detroit Lions Talk Playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. But he going to have to just be more mature about the situation, in my opinion. And he just going to have to say, you know what, man? Uh, me and Jared Goff are going to spend a lot of time together this summer trying to figure out where he wants to, you know, where he comfortable at. He going to have to conform to Jared Goff. Goff is not going to have to conform with him. But then again, he played with Josh Reynolds a long time, and he was underthrowing and missing Josh Reynolds. Let's not forget that he was underthrowing and missing and missing Josh Reynolds. So, um, you know, but like I said before, you know, in the off season, it is what it is. He partying. You got to find the rest and work time. And most times it's time to get in shape. But there's an issue when people act like there wasn't an issue with Jared Goff. Him and DJ Shark had a great rapport last year. You know, but it was a reason they moved on from the rounds and won the championship. It was a reason that they did those things. But, you know, you got to they probably thought Jameson was a good, good football player. Um, but it ain't working. And I mean, I think, you know, outside of football, they just got to figure it out between. And then also, too, you got to remember, too, dude, this dude coming off an injury. So how confident is he coming off in and out of breaks on, on that ACL? It's one thing to be able to run in a straight line. But if I'm running a dig, I'm running the end, I'm running the comeback, I'm running the deep post, I'm running all this other type stuff. Like, how do I really be, uh, believe in my knee? And to be honest, the receivers have to accommodate the quarterback. Because they're more likely to pay that quarterback than pay your ass. They're more likely to ship your ass than that quarterback. So he going to have to get with Jared Goff. And a lot of the connections start off finding, finding things you guys got in common outside the football field. That's where that connection start off at. They find things that you guys you know have common outside the football field. And you see a lot of times when music producers you know finally work with somebody. I was listening to Jay-Z. He was talking about somebody asked him. Um, that you know, could you and Nas do a joint album? And he basically said, like, it's a lot that go into a joint album. It's how he think, how he want to do things, and so a lot of times when you you working with somebody, I mean, you know, and, and you see this is a, a, a huge common era today in, in just relationships and, 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 and on the, on a friendship level, platonic level, or on a on a on a on a level where you want to be with somebody long term, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever you believe in. A lot of people are not asking the right questions and they're not thorough. But I say this, man, you don't really know if you want to be with somebody till you live with their ass. Now, I've seen marriages. My mom was in a marriage and where they live in two different households and it worked for them. I heard people being in two different households. You got a lot of people say, well, no, I couldn't do that because why would I do that? I'd be. But at the end of the day, bro, the system that they put in place, the European system and their values and you know, some of them is Greek and Roman mythology. Green mythology and Roman values, it's not working. If it don't work for you, then you have to make adjustments based on your plan, just like football. So you got to understand, you got to get out the, the structure that they they giving you, and sometimes you got to do what's best for you. You know, and I always tell people, do what's best for you. Some people believe in swinging. Some people believe in, you know, um, monogamous relationships. Some people believe in poly relationships. It's whatever works for you, I ain't judging you. Because everybody shit stank when they shit and everybody draws and all that stuff, man. You know what it is. But what I'm saying is a lot of these people are getting in relationships and they don't have anything in common. It's like going to school and you get your crew in middle school, elementary school, and it may change. Schools may change. Uh, uh, goals may change. 
you know, interests may change. But one thing that drove that 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 gravitated you to your crew or your best friend was you had things in common. And y'all was able to build off of that. So y'all got mad and fought. Guess what? We generally we organically and genuinely got brought together by common. We built memories. A lot of people out here are trying to, you know, get significant others with money and trying to get people by not being they self and trying to dress a certain way. And if you just want to smash and, and get it, you might as well just trick on it. I ain't mad at it. Hey, that's what you do. That's what you do. Um, But, you know, when you with somebody... You got to, or you want to be with somebody, it, you got to be honest if it's going to work or not. Just like those common goals and them genuine goals that draw you, that get, that gravitated you to your best friends or to your crew in school, same thing that should gravitate you towards your girlfriend or your, or whoever you want to be with. Not because oh, oh, he or she is this and I like physically, man, that shit ain't going to matter. After a while, you got to genuinely have an interest. Y'all genuinely have to share things in common, not everything. And it's the same thing with Goff and, and, and Jameson Williams. They have to find things that they have in common. If it's cooking, if it's a certain food, if it's a, they like watching the tag team championships. If it's like, oh, uh, if that's, it's before you talk about film, they have to find a rapport. They have to, and it's different because guess what? If they was in the classroom, they probably wouldn't even fucking even talk to each other. If they if they had a choice, if they was in the same school, they probably wouldn't. They just two different worlds. But a lot of times, I be telling people this: you be having enemies that you be beefing with and shit. You know, you know, you have people you beef with in school, or you just didn't like whatever reason it was. A lot of times, it's misinterpreted or it's misunderstood. And a lot of times, the person that you beefing with or the person that you don't like or you don't know much about, y'all probably have a lot in common if y'all sat down and talked to each other like men and society is supposed to teach young boys to do. And they, got, they probably got a lot in common. They both might like Chipotle. That's somewhere to start. They both might like to play basketball. That's somewhere to start. They both might like to play COD. That's somewhere to start. You know? Or they both might have girlfriends. That's somewhere to start. Or they both might like the, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 BMWs. Or they both might have 911s. Or they both might like to work on cars to do paper airplanes. Or they both might like to travel. But they got to build that rapport and find their common interests. And most people that don't like each other... They just don't never get to know each other. And most men today, society has taught you just to block them, unfollow them, um, just cut them off. But sometimes, I mean, some people, most people are worth just cutting off and not giving an explanation to because whatever. But you have to have the tough conversations, man. You have to have those tough conversations as, as, as men. If it's with women, if it's with your kids, if it's with your side bitch if it's with your mother if it's with your uh your, your, your wife you have to have those hard conversations them uncomfortable conversations because they ain't uncomfortable they're hard you got to break the ice on them but the great thing about them is when you break the ice you get it out there on the ground get it out there in the air guess what you you feel much more relief relief about it you got to and that's one thing i tell you all the guys about any relationship that you in homeboy girlfriend wife whatever like you tell them like look here man if there's ever any issue you know that you got to tell me just tell me i ain't gonna be mad let me know like it's serious and we're gonna try to figure it out if it's something physically going on with you if it's something that that you dealing with let's deal with it together you always want that open door policy you know so but yeah they they got to find a report but i don't think it might not work but hey I could be wrong. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. Peace.